Gamers, what's up? How's it going? It's John, Gamestr81. This video I'll be reviewing the Super Nintendo Classic Mini. This is the North American version. There's actually three versions that Nintendo came out with. There's of course this one. There's one that is a PAL version, which comes with a different box, more to that region. The controllers have the colored buttons, which is super cool. And the Super Famicom version in Japan. Uh, and so there's three versions. The difference, biggest difference between visually between this version, Japanese version, is the Japanese version has five unique games the, uh, that this one doesn't have, and vice versa. So in total, there's 21 built-in games in the classic Super Nintendo Classic Mini, opposed to 30 that was in the NES Mini. This came out September 29th, 2017. I actually picked it up this morning as of filming this. Uh, I reserved it at Best Buy online. Thank you to my good friend Adam who helped me uh, reserve it online. So thank you, Adam, for that. And when I got there this morning, there was actually a line of people who were actually picking up the, the system there. In fact, they had quite a few in stock, about 150, and they were giving out pink pieces of paper. But what I witnessed uh, made me very frustrated and very disappointed is a lot of people were going in, getting the system, going out, changing the shirt, going back in, and picking up another system to try to sell it online, as second, ha second hand. So I will talk about that more on my conclusion later on the video. This video I want to do a review, I'll do an unboxing, I want to show you some gameplay, show you the menu, how this thing actually works, and then also uh, share my thoughts about what I think about the Classic Mini. So thanks for watching and let's take a closer look. So here's a closer look at the box. I love the box art, I think Nintendo is spot on with this. Definitely matches the look of the original Super Nintendo box and just throws back a lot of memories, good memories for me when I originally picked up the Super Nintendo when it first came out in the early 90s. So. Very, very cool, and it's all in three languages, so it looks like it's French and Spanish, English, of course. Never released Star Fox 2 is included, which a lot of people are excited about, which is awesome. I'm excited to check it out. Here is talking about the, the console itself in three different languages. Here are the games included. So it comes with Contra 3, Alien War, Duck Hunt Country, Earthbound, Final Fantasy 3, F-Zero, Kirby's Dream Course, Kirby's Superstar, Mega Man X, and uh, Sacred of Mana, or Secret Amana, however you want to pronounce it, Star, Star Fox, Street Fighter 2 Turbo, Hyper Fighting, Super Castlevania 4, Super Girls and Ghosts, Super Mario Kart. You can kind of see down the list there. A lot of great, I mean, I think, again, the, the game selection here is fantastic. I think it's great. Mostly first party titles, but you got a few that are, 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 are third party titles like Final Fantasy 3. I kind of wish it was Final Fantasy 2. Uh, that's my, I prefer that one over 3, but still nonetheless, great title. Let's open this up. Comes with uh, instructions, just like old school, like you would get with the console. Set up instructions, which is fairly easy. Comes with all the hookups. Oh, check this out, this is cool too. Just notice this. This is like an old school, it's hard to get on one shot, but it's old school poster. How cool is that? That's fantastic. I don't know if that's a reproduction of an original poster, but definitely looks original to me. Now you're playing with superpower. Fantastic. Good job Nintendo doing that. Has a feel and look, same size of your typical Super Nintendo controller. However, the cable connection is different, so this is not compatible with your standard Super Nintendo controller and vice versa. One thing I'm dying to know is the section, the cord size. I'm curious how long the cord size is. They were selling extension cords when I got this at Best Buy, they had sold out of those at the time. by the time I got this. So I'm assuming that the cords are very short like before, and again, Nintendo, a very short cord. I'd say it's about three feet cord like before, so the cord is short like before. So that is, that is disappointing, but it does come with two controllers, which is great. Here's your plug-in. You've got, uh, let's see, Here's USB for power, all right. And it's similar to like a phone, I guess, charger, HDMI cable, which is important. Here's is the console itself. Not yellowed, of course, like <laughs> the Super Nintendo did back in the day. Let me compare this to an original Super Nintendo console to give you a comparison. Mine, this is the original one I bought back in the early 90s, and it's yellowed like many of them have, but you can see the size comparison, very, very uh, small, it's a lot smaller. 
It's about a quarter of the size. Okay, this is kind of weird. It took me a while to uh, figure out how to open these so you can plug in your controllers. Uh, there's actually a thing down here. You can use your fingers and that's how they hook up. It took me a while to figure it out. I was trying to open it up from here. The best way to do it, they snap in, is to open it from the bottom. Kind of threw me off a little bit. They snap out. That's interesting. Here's the power button right here. Switch on just the original one. Obviously, the eject button doesn't work. There's no cartridges that plug in. That'd be awesome if they had many cartridges. Here's a reset. That's how you go back to the main menu. Power light. On the back, you have HDMI and your power. So, very cool. Kind of lightweight, but it feels like a uh, Super Nintendo console, just a lot smaller. Let's plug this in and, and check it out. Thank you. 
So, in conclusion, what I think about the Super Nintendo Classic Mini, I think it's a good system. It's eighty dollars, uh, so you consider you're getting, you know, a little less than four dollars a game, since it comes with uh, twenty-one games. It comes with less than the NES Classic Mini, of course, but you get two controllers. I did a comparison of the length of the controllers, and actually, these cords on these controllers are a little bit longer, about two feet longer, where uh, they're about five feet, where the NES Classic was three feet. Still really short. If you compare that to, I did a review over a HD Super Nintendo uh, system, and that was more like 10 feet for those particular controllers. I, th I think the reason Nintendo did that is basically, to be honest with you, for money. They sell these extensions for 10 bucks. I'm sure it costs them pennies to the dollar to make them in Japan, and they make a profit. So if you want to get two extensions and the system, it's going to cost you 100 US dollars. So keep that in mind. Uh, I've seen on secondhand as of doing this video, these systems are selling for more than $200. I want to caution you guys, Nintendo has promised that the distribution will be better. So far from what I've seen, that has been the case. It's, it's hard to say. These things sold out really quick pre-order. I think, still think these things are going to be really hard to, say, uh, to, to find in the wild as I say it. Uh, so if you are a fan, grew up in the 80s and 90s, grew up with these systems. To me, I grew up playing the Super Nintendo. I remember getting it at launch. I still own my original Super Nintendo. Huge fond memories, one of my favorite systems out there, to be honest. So a lot of great systems, and I think the game selection overall is really solid. You have a lot of great first-party games, good third-party games, including Konami, Capcom, Square, and others. So it's a, it's a good to see a nice mix. There are no sporting titles on this one. However, the Super Famicom port does have a soccer game. This doesn't have any sporting titles. I started thinking about that, and I think it's mainly because of licenses. Uh, it would be hard to license the MLB or NHL or NFL. Uh, but... You know, I started thinking about it a little more, and the Genesis back in the day, at least when I was growing up, had a lot more better sports titles. I think the Genesis was more for sports gaming and shmups where the, you know, Super Nintendo was more for RPGs and platformers, in my personal opinion. Uh, so, keep that in mind. Uh, but overall, nice mix, Donkey Kong Country. I, I wish that other games were included, like Pilot Wings and SimCity. Donkey Kong Country 2 and 3 would be great to include. I wish there was an extension where you can actually add more games or more ROMs to it or download them through uh, the cloud, so to speak, you know, through the Nintendo network. I wish that was uh, through the eShop. That would be really cool. Unfortunately, that is not the case. I really wish there was some type of history where you can unlock pictures and sketches and drawings of prototypes of games and the history of the Super Nintendo. And that would have been really cool, I thought, and that's not the case. The frames are okay. It's kind of interesting that they added. I'm not a huge fan of that. But overall, if you are a fan of Super Nintendo, this is definitely something worth checking out. If you're just a casual retro gamer and you want to play Super Nintendo, I wouldn't necessarily go out and dish twice as much as what it's going for in the secondhand market. You're better off getting a Raspberry Pi and just putting a whole bunch of games and ROMs on there. This will play in 720p HD, so it will be compatible with, obviously, modern-day HD TVs. Uh, so overall, I do recommend the system. You notice here, I actually have a scratch on the very top, and kind of interesting story. I got home, I was halfway home from picking this up, and I noticed that, and I almost turned around to return it, to exchange it. But I started thinking to myself, you know, I'm going to do an unboxing for you guys anyway. I plan on playing this. Uh, I, I, I'm not going to just keep it unopened and on display. And so I don't, I'm not a reseller in that regard. So it doesn't really matter to me that there's a scratch. It, it is what it is. I'm not, I, do I wish it was great? Sure. Do I, I'm glad it's not crushed. Certainly if it was crushed, I'd probably return it, but there's a scratch. It is what it is. And I'll just leave another nice box for those who want that a little bit more than I do. So I've never been a reseller uh, per se. Thank you so much for watching, guys. What games would you like to see on the Super Nintendo Classic Mini? Uh, let me know. Leave a comment below. I really appreciate you guys subscribing. That means a ton to me. Thank you so much. Thank you for liking this video. We'll see you guys soon. Take care, and of course, game on.